Okay, today we're going to talk about angles of polygons, section 3.3. .3. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of three or more line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. So it's closed, not open, and it has to have three or more line segments. So you can see here are different types of polygons, and then over here are not polygons. A polygon is convex when every line segment connecting any two vertices lies entirely inside the polygon. So convex, just look, look at this and we'll look at some pictures down here. This is convex and then maybe it'll make more sense here. A concave is when at least one line segment connecting any two vertices lies outside the polygon. Look at this one here. It caves in so this one's concave. This one over here is convex. So let's go down to here. Some polygon names. This should be familiar to you. You guys, everybody knows the triangle, four sides, quadrilateral. So then let's start with five sides. Pentagon. This should really, I think, be review. Hexagon. Seven size is a heptagon, eight octagon, nine sides is a nonagon, ten size sides is a decagon. And then if it has n number of sides, so anything like when you start getting into a 13 sided figure or 14 sided polygon, we just call that an n gon. So that means that it could have any number of sides. Okay, so looking down here to the next key idea, it is the sum of the interior angle measures of a polygon with n sides is n minus 2 times 180. And from the activity we did in class today, this should be familiar. When we looked at, we know that a triangle has a measure of 180. So then in a like quadrilateral, you can make two triangles, which is 2 times 180. So we did this in class a little bit today with the activity. So example one, it says find the sum of the interior angle measures. So first thing that we need to do is find out how many sides does this have. So n is going to represent the number of sides. So then we count, and I usually put some kind of a mark here to know that that's where I started. So one, two, three, four, five. So we ended here at five, so it has five sides. So n equals five. So if you were naming this, it would be a pentagon. So it's a five-sided figure. So we take our, the sum is equal to n minus two times 180. So n here, we replace it with five, because n equals five. So the sum of all the interior angles is 5 minus 2 times 180. So 3 times 180. And that is equal to 540 degrees. And that was the sum. Read the question again. Find the sum of the interior angles. And that's what well, we need it right there, 540. Okay, so let's go on to the next part. This is on your own, so again, this is what you should be, you should do right here tonight. So you can pause and do those now. Okay, so let's move down to example two. Finding an interior angle measure of a polygon. So this time, we have to use what we already what we just did which was finding the sum of all the angles but then we want to look in look at this particular angle right here now the difference sometimes is that we have regular polygons which means all of their angles are the same in this case we they're all different so we need to figure out what should these add up to because i'm missing this one so what should they add up to so again, I pick a side and I start there to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this case, I get n equals seven, because that's how many sides I have. So it's seven sides. 
So the sum then, the sum of all the sides should equal 7 minus 2 times 180. Okay, so if you go ahead and figure that out. you would get S equals, the sum of all the sides is 900. So now that I know the sum of all the sides, what would I need to know to find out this one particular angle? Well, wouldn't you need to add all of the ones up that you have so far? So I take a minute and I add up 128 plus 130, and I go around plus 120, 115, 145, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Add those up and you get 778. And then you want to subtract that off from 900. So x plus, because whatever our x is, plus 778 is equal to 900. So x is equal to 122 degrees. Okay, next section is on your own. So you try those three. They're the basically set up the same way where you have to figure out what is the total sum and then which angle is missing. What's the sum of these four and then which one's missing. On number five, you'll see that you have to solve an equation. So you have to find the sum, but then 2x plus 2x, you have to figure out what the x is equal to and then label the angle. So if I took this one back up here, and I plug this back in, this angle x is 122 degrees. Okay, let's go on to the next section then, on the next page. The vocabulary is in a regular polygon, all the sides are congruent and all the interior angles therefore are congruent. So if you think of something in a triangle, this, oops, that's kind of a bad picture, but this is an equilateral triangle, so this is regular, okay? If I have a triangle like this, that's not regular, because these two are equal and the, this side is not. So that's not regular. So all the angles would not be the same, but over here, in a regular equilateral triangle, they would all be the same or a square. If we we're talking about a quadrilateral, it'd have to be a square. Or a pentagon, all five sides would have to be the same. So, in this case, a cloud system discovered on Saturn is the approximate shape of a regular hexagon. Find the measure of each interior angle of the hexagon. So even if I couldn't tell from the picture, I would know that it was a hexagon, so I would know that it's six-sided. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So n equals six, so make sure you identify that. So if I'm trying to find the measure of each interior angle, the individual angles here, I still first need to find the sum. So I'm still gonna use that formula. The sum is equal to six minus two times 180. So six minus two is four, four times 180 is 720. So the sum of all the angles is 720 degrees. But it didn't ask me that. It said find the measure of each interior angle. So how do I find this particular angle right here? I would take the sum, 720, and divide it, because it's divided evenly in this regular hexagon, I would divide it by 6. And that gives me 120 degrees for each angle. So 120 degrees is the answer. Okay, the next section then is to do on your own. So find the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon. So octagon, find the sum first. So you want to find the sum. And then you want to divide it by how many angles are in an octagon, how many angles are in a decagon and how many are in an 18 gun. Okay, next part. Key idea, the ang exterior angle measures of a polygon. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. So all of the outside angles here on a polygon will add up to 360. 
So let's try an example. We talked about this some in, in class today also. Find the measures of the exterior angles of each polygon. Label each angle with the angle measure. So here we go. We have 50 plus 127 plus 91 plus this x should equal 360. So if I write that out, 50 plus 127 plus 91 plus x, that should equal 360. So basically, I know a lot of you probably thought, well, let me just add those up and subtract from 360, and that's what you're doing. So you get this adds up to 268, so x plus 268 equals 360. I'm writing it in equation form because in the next problem, we'll see why. So I subtract 268 from both sides, and I get x equals 92 degrees. Plug that back in up here, 92 degrees. I can add all four of those and check them and make sure they add up to 360. And then you're finished. Okay, so on B, this is the, over here they were all numbers, so you could add them up and subtract from 360. But over here you can see that we have a Z and a Z plus 26. So I'm going to write my equation for this one as Z plus z plus 26 plus this third angle, 124, and they should add up to 360. So then go ahead, I'm going to connect, I'm going to put my z plus z together to be 2z plus what is 126 plus 124 is 150 equals 360. And then I can go ahead and solve that equation like I normally do. Subtract 150 and I get 2z equals 210 and divide both sides by 2. Be careful with your z's here because they look a lot like a 2. And z equals 105 degrees. Go back and it says label each angle with the angle measure. So I label this one up here as 105 degrees. And then I have to take the 105 here and add the 26. So I get 131 degrees. 131 plus 105 plus 124, make sure they add up to 360. Okay, so this one then on your own, go ahead and find the exterior measures of the exterior angles of this polygon. Label each angle with its angle measure. So in this one, like I always say, label what you know first. Okay, I know this is on your own. But go ahead, you see that this is a right angle, so go ahead and put a 90 degrees there. So go ahead and fill those in with 90 degrees. And that's the last one for this section. So um, do those on your own, and we'll see you tomorrow.